Yes, now we're recording. Haha. <laughs> this is Liz. So. I am pointing to her. Yes, now. She plays the ukulele. And apparently is a physics major as well. Hell yeah. Stupid physics. <laughs> See, physicists go to engineers because engineers are just generally better. Anyway, How so. How many times have you asked me for help <laughs> for physics, dude? How many times? Do you really want to be embarrassed on the internet as well? Is that not, how this is going to go down? Not really. Um, anyway, so... Not only my physicist, I'm a girl, too. Oh, boy. You got a lot of things to work on, man. Yes. Welcome to Tuesday. I am Connor, and Yay. I am very, very tired and suffering from a sore throat. Welcome to engineering. Anyway, so... <laughs> I was watching everyone's videos, and it was a very musical week, and so Liz was like, Oh my gosh, I should play ukulele, because she's a really good ukulele player. This is the only song I know. No, the one that you played at the open mic night was pretty good. Oh, thanks. Well, I was there, and I'm like, oh my gosh, you play really good ukulele. And then, oh, well, and then when you did the duet, that was really nice. You guys didn't see it. You should have been there. You should have came to SFU, because SFU is awesome. How come you're not already here? Exactly. Why are you not in the room with us? Because that'd be a bit weird. That would be a bit weird. Apparently you can fit 20 people in one of our rooms. I heard it was 50. 50? The screen went dark. What are we going to do? It's just the screen powering down. Don't worry. As long as the green light's up there, we're fine. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! That's that's amazing. Yep. So, let's talk about the random circumstances in which we met. So, I was walking home from, I think, engineering science. And I was walking past the residency. This is really good background music. I know, that's what I was thinking. But, so, randomly Liz came up to me and she's like, Do you, have, do you take chemistry right no, now? No, I said, I said, do you know okay. chemistry? Because I had just spent the past hour and a half trying to figure out why... Am I allowed to curse on this thing? Uh, keep it to a minimum, I guess. Why the gajiggers? I was That's getting the one. wrong... <laughs> I was getting the wrong chemistry. Like, I was getting the answer wrong over and over again. And I did not understand why. So I had, you know, and at the time, the only people I'd met were all music kids. So like, I'm like, hey, Tess, can you help me with chemistry? She's like, I haven't taken that since grade nine. I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> so I ended up resorting to walking down, like seriously, walking down the street to any person I'd met and say, hey, do you know chemistry? And they're like, oh, no. I'm like, okay, do you know chemistry? They're like, no. No. And, then I'm I'm like, <laughs> and then I'm like, do you know chemistry? They're like, yeah. not enough to help you. No. And then I'm like, hey, do you know chemistry? And Connor's like, yes. And I'm like, yes, fuck. Fudge. Fudge. Fiddly. Diddly. Uh, so that was the random circumstance. So they actually ended up solving that question for you? I can't yeah, remember. We both figured it out. Okay. You tried and it Good. was wrong. And then I tried again and it was wrong. And then we like kind of Pool. Both did and then we pulled our tribes. And then we kind of solved it. Anyway, so what else can we talk about? Um, Your workload as opposed physics to physics major, special relativity. I, actually, what are you interested in? I guess special relativity. Dude. Special relativity. Oh, I love how. Oh, I'm so geek now. I love the idea. I can't talk about physics and play play at the same time. I didn't. I didn't know that before. Um, I love special relativity. I love the idea that space-time is flexible. Time is not absolute, right? It's just the coolest thing. I love it. It's awesome. And, like, I'm here because I want to understand all that stuff. I want to understand time for what it actually is. This is very fitting music. It is. For some I was reason. just thinking that. Like, I want to understand time the way it actually is, so we can, like, think of it... Because the way we think of it is linear, and that's just not true. Not at all. At all. Draw, la 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 la. true. But, like, one of the big questions that's come up recently is like, time is just another dimension, right? You have length, and you have width, and you had height. Is it the fourth dimension? Yeah. Okay. Good. It's just another dimension. I've given a number. Oh, okay. 
That was really fitting, was it? No, no, you need to write that down as a song and play it. Like I do. I'm actually I'm trying to write lyrics for it. No, those are the lyrics. Like you have to talk about physics, and then people will be like, "Well, that's a really great song. I don't understand the physics, but that's a really great song." The way time bends, depending on how fat you are. That is true, actually. <laughs> it's true. But yeah, but like the biggest question, one of the big, not the biggest, there's, there's so many big questions, but one of the big questions that's come up recently is length and width, like length is a dimension, width is a dimension, and height is a dimension, and time is a dimension. So how come you can go both ways in three of them, but time apparently, according to us, only goes one way? That's kind of weird when you think about it. Because theoretically, every time you drop a glass of uh, well, anything, glass, glass of glass, uh, I think I don't know. Um, every time you drop a glass and it shatters, there should be an equal number of times where a glass flies up from the ground and into your hand, which is decidedly not the case. There was a Feynman lecture on it, and it kind of made sense, but I want to understand it hardcore. A lot of the other people in this vlog are like English majors or going to education, <laughs> <laughs> so you just probably blew their minds. It's cool. It's very cool. Yeah, see, and I'm just the engineer. She comes up with the ideas, we discuss it, I make them real. You wouldn't have ideas without me. <laughs> I think that's a great, great time to end it, because I know you do it so constantly. Yeah. Anyway, see everybody on their respective days, and don't forget to be awesome. And don't forget, Never. physics is better than engineering. Not at all. Better. Physics is better.